That option starts shortly in the what I've called the Grindavik Rift Valley. We are seeing the earthquakes forming clusters and we have evidence for some of them actually forming at this stage. Some of them appear on the gaps that we already had nothing. It is all, these are the corrected ones. After verifying them, we add them on that chart. They are concentrated on the uh, Grindavik Rift Valley. This is the area you see the most of the red dots. And the depth of the tremors shows that whatever is rising is rising in under the Swartzengi. Between the Grindavik and Blue Lagoon, we can see the, this is the Sundunka crater chain that we already know. And the depth of them is at the moment up to three and a half kilometers, four kilometers, those, uh, those depths. But they are rising, getting quicker. You can see it like a column. These earthquakes are rising to the surface. You can see them to the left here where Grindavik is written. And uh, they come from the volcanic system of the Swartzengi. This is a, um, in my belief, this is a geothermal uh, system where we have lots of porosity, cracks, cavities, and such things, like an aquifer which gets filled up with the water. And then when you extract the water, the water level falls. And then later, when you come back next day, the water level has risen. This is like that in this system. It gets filled up on the porosity with the magma. Then the magma goes out. Um, I have a suspicion that maybe we have kind of metallic or ore uh, lining of these porosity and cavities that they can actually somehow uh, resist the complete melting. And we see anyway, the GPS data rising continuously some form of the decline also visible but we have to watch there is no there will be no warning or very short warning less than half an hour one hour